Hi everyone, it's Sarah. I am going to be making the meatloaf muffin cups. Um, this recipe was actually from Pinterest. I've changed a little bit of it, um, but it's pretty much the same. And I do this recipe just about every week because it makes approximately like two batches of it, makes 36 muffins. So, which is really good. So or what the recipe calls for, which I do two batches of it, so um, regular recipe calls for two pounds of meat, it can be like turkey or lean ground beef, um, one and a half cups of salsa, one cup of whole wheat breadcrumbs, uh, two large eggs, four garlic cloves, a pinch of salt and pepper to taste, and a half, half a cup of cheese. So since I'm doubling it, um, the recipe is going to be a little bit different. But after this video, I will comment and either post the link to Pinterest of the recipe or I will just post the recipe down there so it's easier for people. So first off, I started off, I usually do half turkey and half ground beef because I think turkey is a little bit too dry to just do it alone in this recipe. Um, so that's why I do this way. So I did half ground turkey, which is like the leanest ground turkey, and then I did half lean ground beef, which I think was like 93% and then like 7% fat or whatever. So you can kind of do it however you want to do it. You can either do all ground beef, all ground turkey, or half and half. Um, since I doubled it, this is four pounds of meat. So that's half turkey, half ground beef. So you're going to put that in a big bowl because you're going to be mixing it with your hands. And then you're going to add the salsa which is right here. I've already like pre-measured everything so you guys don't have to watch me measure stuff because that would honestly be really boring. So I'm going to go ahead and pour the salsa in. It's poured in. And the salsa that I use, you're supposed to use organic, but I'm on the cheap side. I have four children. I cannot spend a lot of money. So I just buy this stuff. It's pretty cheap. You can buy it at Winco. Um, you know, it's fairly cheap. I think it's like maybe four or five dollars um, for this whole thing. And this is like four pounds. So you got enough for like at least a couple batches. So that's a good thing. And then the next thing is going to be your whole wheat breadcrumbs. Since this is doubled recipe, this is going to be two cups. So just pour it all in there. And then what you're going to want to do is get two large eggs. This is four eggs. I already broke them up or whatever, cracked them out of here, so you guys don't have to watch me do that. Just pour it all in there. And then you are going to get your garlic cloves. Now, to make this easy on yourself, what I do is... Okay, sorry, baby was crying. Anyway, what I do is I buy at Costco the giant thing of minced garlic um i don't remember how much it says it's like maybe three or four dollars but you get 48 ounces of garlic you can't beat that and i really hate chopping stuff so this makes it very easy so you're going to use four garlic cloves um which i'm going to use eight so you just dump it on in there and i forgot to show you too these are the breadcrumbs that i used they are seasoned whole wheat breadcrumbs from Winco. This thing is like $1.98. It's very, very cheap. Paige, you're okay. It's okay. And I think this has lasted me two, two times of making this. So that's four batches all together since I do a double. Okay. And then the last thing that you, well, one of the last things that you're going to add is the cheese. Now, I use this cheese. You can use organic. I don't like spending extra money on food because I don't have it. So I usually just get the Winco Foods Mexican style blended cheese. It's pretty cheap. I think it's like $1.98 for this thing, which is two cups, and you only use one cup for two batches. So if you're just going to do one batch, you only use half a cup. So just go on in, dump that in. And then the last thing on there is you're going to want to do a pinch of salt and pepper. 
Most people prefer to use sea salt. It's a little too salty for me, so I use kosher most of the time. You don't really want to add that much. Just a hair pepper. Also a hair. You don't really want to add that much. It's just to give it flavor. Um, you can always, I mean, some people like to just do it after and just put it on top. I kind of just prefer to just do it this way. And then the next step is going to just be mixing it with your hands. So you're going to get dirty, so you're probably going to want to get like, you know, a few paper towels. Set it next to you so you can wipe your hands off occasionally. You're going to want to wash your hands really good afterwards because of the meat contamination. So just get your hands in there and mix it up. Um, you don't really want to watch this part, so I'm going to pause the video and do this. Wash my hands, then show you what it looks like. I'll be right back. Okay, everyone. So this is what it looks like after you've mixed it up. Make sure you mix it up really, really good. You want everything to be mixed up, especially if you use turkey and ground beef like I do. You want it to be like really, really mixed in. So this is what it looks like after you mix it in. Um, you know, just mix together or whatever. Now I'm going to go ahead and put it in my little muffin pans. Now I sprayed this before I started. Um... I use canola oil only because I don't have my coconut oil spray. I ran out. Didn't have time to go to the store before I did this. But if, you know, this doesn't have any calories anyways. But I prefer to use coconut oil spray. You can get it at Walmart for like, I think $4, but it lasts me a long time. Like, this is the first time I've ran out since I started eating clean. Which has been about three months. So, I am going to put the meat in here and then I will show you what it looks like after I put it in there hi so this is what they look like after you put them in the little muffin thingy um don't like overfill them don't underfill them just do it like kind of like right to the top when I do it I use a spoon because I think it's easier to kind of like you know mush them out and level them out um, rather than using your fingers like you did to mix it you can do it whatever way you want to. I'm sure anyway is fine. So what you're gonna want to do now is stick them in the oven. And you actually put them for 275. Okay, whoops, sorry, 375 for 25, 35 minutes. So just like whenever they're brown and you can always just like cut one in the middle and if it's pink, it needs to go longer. So yeah, you can go ahead and stick them in the oven. I'm gonna do that real quick. And I'll be right back. Okay, so they're in the oven right now. Um, and they're going to be baking, obviously, for a while. But what this is going to equal, if you are doing 21 Day Fix, it is going to equal um, two of those muffins is going to equal one red. Um, and then I also do it as half a yellow because of the breadcrumbs. Some people just are like, oh, whatever. I do it half of a yellow because I don't want the extra carbs. So... I want to be able to count my carbs and know what I'm eating. So, for me, I usually eat four of them, um, and then that counts as two reds. Um, so, and I'll also put that below. And this is what they look like afterwards. We're having them tonight for dinner. Um, these are ones that I previously did and froze. I took them out this morning um, so you guys can kind of see what they look like. Um, they look like this. They look kind of weird. I know. Um, they're actually really, really good. So, um, yeah, one of them is going, well, two of them actually, sorry, are going to equal one red. So, you can go ahead and eat that with whatever you like. I can show you actually what I usually eat it with. I pretty much eat the same thing with my meats almost every night, which is kind of boring. Um, this is what I usually do. I just pop those in the microwave, you know, for like, I don't know, one to two minutes. And I'm a Costco freak. Sorry, I like Costco. Those popsicles back there, they're not mine. They're my kids. It's okay. Um, I get the Kirkland, I'm probably going to say this wrong, <laughs> Normandy vegetables right here. They are delicious. I throw them in my skillet. I put Italian seasoning. I put minced garlic, um, some garlic powder. And like a little bit of sea salt and some pepper. Um, and you just kind of let them, you know, unfrost and heat up. And it's really good. And then I usually always have my dinners brown rice. Oh, sorry, brown rice. Unless 
I've already had my carbs for the day. Then I'll just skip brown rice and just do the meatloaf with the vegetables and then like a fruit. You know, if you haven't had all your fruit yet. I only use these that I'm gonna show you. I only buy them because I don't wanna be like, oh God, I don't wanna cook brown rice because brown rice takes like 50 minutes. Um, I buy these so that if I am too lazy to make brown rice, I can do this instead of actually like going, oh, maybe I should just go to fast food because I'm feeling lazy. This is Uncle Ben's ready rice, whole grain brown rice. You literally open it just like a little bit, peel it off, stick it in the microwave for 90 seconds and you have rice. Um, what I like to do though, I try to do, I don't always get to do it because I have four kids, um, is make up brown rice, usually on a Sunday, like a whole bunch of it, just like a whole pot of it, um, and stick it in the fridge for the week. Um, cause my kids love brown rice. My husband's he is a little iffy on it, but he'll still eat it cause I make him food. So, um, and that's just kind of like what I have and that's how you make meatloaf. If you guys have any questions about the meatloaf, um, you can go ahead and comment below or you can private message me. Um, yeah, this is my first food video I've ever done. Um, I hope you guys liked it. And hopefully later on tonight, I don't know if I'm going to get to it or not, hopefully later on tonight, I'm going to make hummus, um, which is homemade, and I will show you guys how to do that. I have a lot of people who are asking me, oh my gosh, I love your hummus, how do you make it? Well, it's not my recipe, it's one of my friends' recipes, um, so I can't really like say it's mine, it's hers, she's Armenian, it's an amazing recipe, and I will try to make it tonight. Anyways, I hope... All of my um, friends and people who are new that I haven't yet gotten the chance to meet uh, in this challenge group are super excited. I am pumped about this challenge group. This is my first challenge group that I've done and I am psyched about it. We have so many amazing people. We actually have another coach who's going to be doing it with me. Her name is Miranda. She is amazing. She's been doing this longer than I have. So... You know, if I don't have any questions, or if I get questions I don't know the answers to, I'm going to go straight to her. So, anyways, if you liked the video, let me know. Comment below. I am going to um, put the babies down for a nap and do my workout. Have you done your workout yet? You probably should. Alright, see you guys later. Bye!